Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. Your host, Chris Chappell. The internet is such a dark, uncivilized place. If only someone could do something about it. Wow! That's much better! Sunshine has at last burst through the dark clouds of social disharmony, clearing out these old interwebs. And who do we have to thank for it? And who do we have to thank for it? The Communist Party of China, which is also responsible for everything else good in your life. Now I know you probably need no further explanation from me, because obviously, when you hear Chinese Communist Party, you automatically think better internet. Or preferably, you just don't think at all and just smile and nod your head. But here's the explanation anyway. As I'm sure you know, I've always been a big fan of collective volunteerism. In fact, I'm so much a fan, I think it should be mandatory. Well, now it is. According to a document dated February 13th that was recently leaked, the Chinese Communist Youth League has set strict quotas for the numbers of volunteers needed to embark on a glorious new social campaign. They're looking for good Chinese netizens to promote socialist core values. The Communist Youth League, by the way, is the Communist Party-run organization with tens of millions of teenagers and 20-something-year-olds. Think of it like the Boy Scouts of America. Except instead of learning values like honesty and kindness, Youth League members learn to be obedient to the Communist Party. And they also go camping and stuff. Now, as anyone loyal to the Communist Party knows, the internet is full of terrible things. For example, uncivilized comments that are against socialist core values and are unhelpful for ethnic unity. It's the job of these Youth League volunteers to blast the internet with sunshine comments. In other words, attack those critical of the Chinese regime. All volunteers must declare their devotion to join the positive force and to promise, as the Washington Post puts it, not to view any unhealthy web pages and not engage in the making and spreading of rumors. You can't spread sunshine if you're committing thought crimes. As some of you may be thinking, hey, isn't this a lot like the 50 Cent Brigade? Those are the online commentators paid by the regime to do basically the same thing for about 50 cents a post. Of course it isn't the same thing. These are volunteers and will not be paid. Also, there will be a lot more of them. There are around a quarter million 50 centers nationwide. In contrast, the Youth League wants a quarter million new Sunshine volunteers in Beijing alone. Nationwide, it wants 10 million. This is just the latest in a series of moves to improve the content of the internet since Xi Jinping came to power in 2012. It follows a 2013 policy that promised jail time for spreading rumors online. What counts as spreading rumors? Well, that's the fun part. It's so vaguely defined, it could be anything. Just write something online and see what happens. So, I for one welcome the volunteers to China Uncensored. And I think I speak for all my regular viewers when I say we are eagerly looking forward to reading your comments. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. If you want more, be sure to click on that like and subscribe button. Or check out ChinaUncensored.org to sign up for the weekly newsletter. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.